Do you confess? What? What? Where? Where? Who's that? Just to Who's your that? right, up above. Where? No, other where? way, other way. Where? Where? Whoa! Hidden camera! Camera obscura! Surveillance society! I knew it! I knew it! Panoptica! Ah, Michel Foucault! Secret language! Secret language! <laughs> it's not a secret language. <laughs> Never mind. Do you confess to no, the no, fact... No, I confess to nothing! 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 I confess to nothing! Zero. You won't confess to the fact no, that no, you... No, 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 no! Nothing! 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 To the fact that what? To the fact that you've been free-riding the subway for the last couple of months. <laughs> You know it's stealing, right? Steal nothing! Don't know what you're talking about! Panopticon! Panopticon! Big Brother! Duplus Duplus Five! Look, Perry, I just want to... How, how do you know my name? How do you know my name? We did a video conversation just like this one. Parsha Spishala. Deja vu! Deja vu! Black Cat! Glitch in the Patrix! Look, more than one Subway token clerk has seen you hop the turnstile without paying. No one see me! No one see me! You're bluffing! You ain't got no witnesses! I ain't got nothing! There's also clear high-res video surveillance yeah. footage of you. Oh, yeah! CGI! Yeah! Trying to frame me! Trying to frame me! Did it look like me? Did it look like this? Look like this? Oh, yeah! But you look like this! Look just like me! Right? <laughs> What's to me? Fake! Fake! Actor! Latex makeover! CGI! So, CGI. you won't confess? Confess? You want me to confess? Yeah, big brother! Ain't got no siblings! I'm a single child! <laughs> you want me to confess? Oh, yeah! Under torture! Room 101! Rats! <laughs> confess! Yeah! I confess! Tell the truth! Uh -uh. I wouldn't mean it! I'd say it, but I wouldn't mean it! Confession 101! Blah, 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 You know, it's blah, very blah, blah, interesting blah, blah, blah. you say that. It's an issue in the Torah as well. In the fifth chapter of the Book of Numbers, it says that when a man or woman sins and feels guilty, he or she will confess to the sin they've committed. I feel guilty. Didn't do nothing. Got no guilt. And the Rambam, Maimonides, explains in his great legal code, the Mishnah Torah, that one is required to confess with one's lips, verbally, that which one resolved in one's heart. Me? I didn't resolve nothing. Who says I have a heart? You, big brother. I ain't got no heart. And here's the interesting catch. The Rambam says that if one confesses verbally, but without having resolved in one's heart to actually repent, this is comparable to someone who immerses himself in a mikvah, a ritual bath of purifying waters, while holding a sheritz in his hand. Sheritz? What's that? Like a lizard? Lizard society. That's right. A sheritz is a type of creepy crawly that causes ritual impurity, like a lizard or a snail or a mouse. And as the Rambam adds, the mikvah immersion will not be effective. The person will not be purified until he casts the sheritz away. Ah, you see? Confession. What's the point of confession? Even if I did confess, which I wouldn't, to stealing, which I didn't, even if I did confess, so what? It would mean nothing. In a big pool of water with a big fat lizard in my hand. It's true, there would be a hypocrisy in such a confession, confessing verbally without meaning it. Confession? It's a big fat dirty lizard lie. You think God doesn't know the truth? God knows the truth. I'm not saying there is God. Conspiracy. But if there is a God, if there is a God, then the confession is nothing. But God knows everything. The confession means nothing. So right there, there's room for a good question. It's true that a merely verbal confession is hypocritical and false. But it doesn't necessarily follow from its insincerity that it's completely ineffective. Yeah, right. So it's effective, an effective lie. The insincere confession is certainly ineffective as a gesture of actual atonement, just like self-immersion in a mikvah with a lizard in one's hand is ineffective. No actual purification is achieved. And yet... I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, and yet... There's always a tricky dicky, and yet... And yet, the hypocrite who immerses himself in the mikvah, lizard in hand, does at least immerse himself in the mikvah. Likewise, the hypocrite who confesses insincerely, he does at least confess. So what? What use is that? Ineffective, ineffective. But it is effective. The effect belongs to that extraordinary power of the spoken word. Speech has the power not only to express our innermost heartfelt feelings. Oh yeah, also has the power to strengthen feelings. Careful what you say. Shh. Exactly. And speech even has the power to arouse feelings against one's own intentions and thoughts. It's a simple, basic psychological fact that a human being, a normal, healthy human being, naturally feels uneasy and embarrassed when he's compelled to verbalize his wrongdoing, even if he has no intention whatsoever of mending his ways. This confession is certainly not tshuva, it's not repentance, but it is a small, significant step in the direction of penance, of tshuva. Normal human being? You're saying I'm not normal. 
Perry, if I thought you weren't normal, would I even suggest that you fess up? I'm normal. I'm normal. I'm normal. I'm more normal. Than so you'll confess to having free ridden the subway. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, yeah. I confess. I confess. Mea culpa. Mea culpa. But I don't mean it. Not a single word of it. Not a word. I confess. Blah, 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 you blah, You don't blah, mean blah, it. Blah. But you do feel the power of the truth of your own words. Power of truth. Power of truth. And you don't feel bad at all? Not even... Feel bad? No. No. No, no, no. I feel great. I feel great. I feel great. One step at a time.